Alright guys, welcome back to the Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes series. Let me just take out these cameras. They actually can be taken out. Um, I wasn't percent sure because they look fairly armored, so... I uh, wasn't percent sure if I could actually take them down. And if you missed the last episode, we just got... Let's see what's in here. So calm bullets. Uh, we just got out of the torture scene with Revolver Ocelot. Uh, we decided to go ahead and save Meryl. And Metal Gear Solid games from what I, when I remember of the game in general um, is one of the very first games that incorporated decision making aspects where what you decide kind of impacted uh, how the game ended. Um, right now, the shit, there it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a bomb that Revolver Ocelot places on your, in your gear. So once you get it out of the torture chamber, you want to huck that as quickly as possible. Or you blow up and you die. So, there you go. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid was one of the very first games that incorporated, from my, in my gaming history, that incorporated kind of like decision making aspects to it, where what you did would have an impact on mainly the overall ending of the story. Um, the way I decided to go with it was the one where you save mail, which is actually the, the official ending, uh, because Obviously, Meryl's in Metal Gear Solid 4, so uh, that was actually her first appearance back in the series. Um, when you were playing Metal Gear Solid 2, you weren't 100% sure how what was the official ending because Meryl wasn't in that game in Metal Gear Solid 2. But yeah, um, the alternate ending, which is the alternate universe, which isn't the official one, is that uh, you ride off into the sunset with, with Otacon in your on your back seat of your snowmobile, which is uh, which is kind of gay, so <laughs> you don't want to do that. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. And right here is the original area where you had to run back in the original game to get the PSU one. Uh, but if you guys watched the Sniper Wolf boss battle, then you guys will know that uh, they actually placed a tranquilized one a little bit closer so you didn't have to go as far back which is fairly nice so yeah let's see here oh ba back on the ending with the uh, Meryl and Otacon uh, here's the final fact that originally the ending was supposed to be that's either Snake or Otacon Snake Otacon and or Meryl um, they rode off into the sunset on a snowmobile not a snowmobile sorry a dog sled with huskies and everything uh, just because snake is a musher and that would have made more sense okay but um, but the the PS1 couldn't handle that uh, processing wise with all the graphics and everything so uh, they had to decide on Snowmobile, which was more, which was capable of doing that. I guess. Uh oh, he saw. Who's me. there? Oh shit! 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 Uh, I can't take that guy out either because he's the one that actually radios back into. Oh Jesus! Really? Do I have a carbon box? Yeah, I do. Cardboard box, FTW. There you go. But yeah, right now, since we have the level 6 card key, uh, we have actually access to every single door in this game now. So, uh, I'm just backtracking, uh, picking up stuff that I missed. And this is actually... I'm actually gonna take out this camera before I take out this guy. Uh oh. Coming a little bit close. Oh, there you go. Uh, at first, I didn't think I could take out this camera, but I guess I could. Uh oh. Missed. Really? I guess you can't take out this camera. Oh no. Want to do this. Want to get this guy here so he doesn't show up on the camera. There you go. Oh shit. It's a camera up there too.
Oh, I can't. What? I'm so confused right now. Thermal goggles. Okay, do I just have really bad aim? That I couldn't hit that camera? Yep, I suck. I suck at this game. <laughs> Whatever. Some stun grenades. Nothing here. The guy in the bottom is still sleeping. We shall take a shortcut yeah. down. Whoops. No, 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 no. Uh oh. I gotta get out of here. I accidentally shot that guy. It's okay, I should be able to get out of here quickly enough. There you go. Sweet. I accidentally shot that guy. Oh jeez, that guy's closer than I expected him to be. Oh yeah, crap, footprints. Damn it. Okay, I gotta take out this guy and get her around really quickly. Oh, he's following them. Damn it. Okay, I gotta... Okay, I gotta take out that camera in the distance first, because that is most important. There you go. Because that is one that's gonna get me caught. Camera down there. Two cameras here. Should be fine though. Nice. Alright, we're back in the nuke building. Um, Okay, let's just get this ration really quickly. I'm forgetting what the action button is. <laughs> Jump down here. There's a guy right there, so you gotta wait it out for a second. Um, I'm undecided if I'm gonna go back to that gas room or not to get. Uh, there's a couple of doors that, that I didn't open yet, so I'm undecided at this point, but we'll see. Nine. Nice. Throw there. Oh, okay. He already went. I gotta make this quick. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. It's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again where you won't see me. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back to the gas room. Get that stuff that I missed out on. This is a scene, one of the scenes where you're you're happy that the that the um, the car key automatically activates the doors now because in the original one you you have to keep switching back and forth. You have to use the car key to open the door, but at the same time the gas is on, and just made for very bad news. But so very happy they incorporated that element into the uh, where did that help? Come on, there's the camera. Can't see anything through here. And all that was is a book. Sweet. Uh, I'm not gonna waste any time here, I'm just gonna use the chop grenade. I'm almost out of air already too. So uh, let's go. Go 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 go. Body armor. Ah, good thing I stopped. That's why it was important to come back here. Body armor. Sweet. Oh. Damn it. Shit. Where's my body armor? Ah! It's okay. One more door. Anything good? M9 bullets. Um, body armor reduces the damage to you by half. So. See, you don't remember everything. If I sort of skipped that, I would have got like a. Would have lost a major item in this game. Oh, the body armor actually shows up too while you're walking. It's pretty sweet. Can't remember everything, guys. Sorry. Alright. Back to the basement one. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh, do you know what I just realized? Uh, oh, okay, so... With the that last... One of the last episodes I said that they left off one of the uh, mayoral cutscenes when you came back to see where her blood is. But I just realized that now since we're gonna go back there, we're gonna get that cutscene now. So, uh, I'm just gonna throw it on this handkerchief so the dogs don't attack me. So they didn't leave that out, I was just, once again, I can't remember everything. Um, the handkerchief belongs to Sniper Wolf. Uh, Otacon gave it to you while you were going through that torture scene. So, uh, before they attack you, but now they have both sent, so they will not. See? Puppy love. But if I, if I do shoot them, they'll attack me. It's not that. Someone um, also told me, I can't remember because I've never done it that way, that there's a way for the dogs to piss on you or pee on you and they'll leave their scent on you or something like that. I've never done it that way, so uh, someone can confirm or deny that in the comment box. That'd be very helpful and very grateful for. But uh, I think I'm going to cut this commentary ending at uh, when this cutscene ends. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Uh, war is meaningless. Nothing comes out of self. Go on living and don't give up on people. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want, too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well... Yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece, and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Um, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi, I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. <laughs>